Hello, welcome to Homeopathic Services. My name is Pierre Fontaine. I'm a professional homeopath for 25 years or close thereabout. Uh, I specialize in autism as well as pandas. I've been specialized in this for 25 years. Uh, my second book, One Heart, One Mind, details the process of reversing many cases of, uh, uh, of autism. The systematic process, I should say, of a method I call surrogacy using only homeopathic remedies. Today, I want to talk about uh, aggravations, what some people call aggravations, not necessarily homeopathic uh, aggravation, but I want to talk about aggravations and all the calls I get about that that has prompted me to actually lower my fee by 30 percent, uh, possibly 40. The, the, so I, the, I'm making the announcement that I'm lowering the fees. Why? Why? Because a lot of calls have to do with either people who gave homeopathic remedies and cause aggravation in children that should not be happening or aggravations from biomed. That should also not be happening, okay? Uh, there are just too many calls. There are too many people out there who um, fall prey, and, and, and I don't want that to happen, and they're, therefore I'm making it more affordable to, uh, to, to see me. Those calls distress me because there's so much information that is not accurate. One of the information that is not talked about is autism and the dissociative state. Many years ago, I introduced the idea, the concept, the fact that autism is a painful disease. Before then, it was not considered such. Uh, that pain, the pain of, of autism, causes the child a dissociative disorder. That is, a removal from one's thoughts or feelings, even memory or even sense of identity. It's a removal. Now, autism is kind of a dissociative state, okay? But it isn't either. There is possibly some, um, how to say, predisposition to dissociative states and children on the spectrum. But I don't think predisposition is the right word. Anything that is difficult has the potential of kicking a dissociative state on. And so I believe most of symptoms or a lot of symptoms that we see in autism that are taken into consideration in treatment either through biomed or through homeopathic remedy, those are mistakenly, they cannot be so accurate because the, the detail of the dissociative state uh, should not be looked at so much, but the dissociative state as a whole should be taken into consideration. Once we do that, we can remove a lot of what I call peripheral symptoms of autism, okay? And we are far more able, or I am far more able to find an accurate remedy looking at the, uh, at the whole condition and put it this, the symptoms of dissociative state of disorder on the side as one whole. That makes, a, that makes things a lot easier. So you see, after 25 years, I continue to, to elaborate the system of taking a, a, a case on the spectrum and making it more and more accurate. I hope uh, that the, the, the fee change will uh, uh, help a lot of people um, 
my the, the way my practice is, is built is I, I do full care, so there is never any charge for colds or ear infections or allergies or whatnot. Uh, whatever the, the rolling problems that go on during the year, there's never any charge for that either. Uh, please consider consider the the, uh, the 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 experience. Consider this this dissociative disorder. A uh, little bit. I will make a longer video on that. I wanted to talk about it because it is never talked about in the autism community, and I think it is important. It is important in the way the case is taken in order to be more accurate, more rapidly than uh, than ever before. Thank you so very much for listening. Enjoy.